Hey guys, so here's a video on how to perform a clear slap harmonic. If you don't know what a slap harmonic is, an example of a lot of these are um, in Andy McKee's song Drifting. Um, so for the first one that he plays, the first slap harmonic that he introduces in that song is actually on the eighth beat. Um, yeah, after all the hammer on and the hip percussive stuff, you know. Uh, and he incorporates this slap harmonic, uh, which sounds like this. Um, you know, and, and he's basically slapping the part of the guitar fretboard um, that creates this extremely highly concentrated and rich sound of a harmonic. Um, and from what I've seen, the highly concentrated areas are on the 5th fret, 7th fret, 12th fret, and 19th fret. Well, that's what I usually play my slap harmonics on. I mean, there's some other harmonics on the fretboard, uh, but that's... I'm not going to get into that yet. <laughs> um, okay, and also, I want to mention that there's such things as closed slap harmonics, too. And what I mean by that is, um, if you're if you're gonna bar on the second fret or something, you can do that. Or yeah. And uh, just in case you guys don't understand how that works, I actually explained this in another video, but I'll just mention it again, just in case some of you haven't watched that. So, what I my concept is that the nut is the the zero fret. Um, and when you fret something, any any string, um, any fret, that becomes your nut. That becomes your zero fret too. Uh, so say that I was gonna bar something actually, maybe that would be easier to understand. So now, if I was to bar the second fret, the second fret would become the zero fret. I'm basically shifting this nut upwards, and it's becoming the zero fret. So if I wanted to find my harmonics, what I would do is I would add those harmonic numbers that I mentioned earlier, the fifth, seventh, twelfth, nineteenth, or anything else you might have, if you want to just play one string harmonics. Um, but right now we're going to slap harmonics, so I'll just explain that. <laughs> getting sidetracked. Uh, so I would add, say that I wanted to play the 12th harmonic for the second fret. What I would do is add 12 plus 2. And that would give me 14. If I wanted to do, it, do the 5th fret harmonic for the second fret, I would basically do 5 plus 2, which is 7. So yeah, and that 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 um, applies for every other fret too. Like, yeah. Um, okay, so I don't want to confuse you guys with uh, when there are times where people fret only some of the strings. So say that uh, this happens a lot in Kataro Oshio's pieces. Um, such as, I don't know, uh, You Are the Hero, for instance. So there's, this, there's a part where he just does a slap harmonic while barring the 5th fret. But he does it on the 12th fret. He, he, he slaps it on the 12th fret but bars the 5th fret. And uh, in my opinion, I think he's doing that because he wants just these harmonics, but he wants a harsh sound on this on this fifth fret. Just a natural, natural sound, no harmonics involved. But he's, but he wants harmonics just on. It might, it might. I think it's in the tablature that usually harmonics in tablature is noted as like a diamond shape. And I don't think there's diamonds on the 5th frets. 
uh, fifth fret ones, the ones that are, he's fretting. But there are diamonds on these open strings. But then again, there are times when if you bar something, like say for the second fret, and there are diamonds for the second fret, and that means you have to play those as harmonics. So yeah, uh, be sure to try to uh, read carefully um, your your music, and also if you're watching a video and imitating from someone, maybe uh, uh, get a, try to get a closer look at where they're hitting exactly. And, um, okay, so now that we've discussed, you know, where to perform these things with our left hand, um, now I'll actually <laughs> teach you how to do it, you know, with your right hand, you know, actually doing the slap harmonic. Uh, and to perform this the right way, you have to hit the harmonic er area with a really uh, with a lot of force but it has to be very gentle in that gentle hit there has to be extreme amount of force you can't um because you're not uh, you're not supposed to press down on the strings when you you know like that that's not gonna that's not gonna really do anything i mean that kind of left that kind of left some kind of harmonics but that's not the effect that you, um, a lot of us want what we want is a clear and crisp sound. Um, and to do that, you hit it gently. Don't press it in with a great amount of force in that gentle hit. And then you have to bounce right off so that that harmonic can breathe. Uh, I remember doing this even in my videos and it was a huge mistake that I made uh, I used to actually hit this with my whole hand and I actually thought I was doing the right thing but <laughs> uh, unfortunately it's not that simple to do that. you have to use well I would recommend using one finger I, I'm not sure if there's other ways uh, if you can use two fingers or something like that to be honest I'm not sure because you know finger style guitar you know everybody's just experimenting still you know it's a new kind of thing but what I'm doing is I'm hitting it with my index finger some people can I mean people, and then also you can do you know your middle finger you can use your middle finger I think you can use your 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 ring finger some people this is guy I know, and he uses his pinky, and he does a really nice slap harmonic. So, I mean, anything's possible. <laughs> Just that as long as it fits you, and you find it comfortable. Uh, and just in case, I was actually I actually had this moment of you know figuring out that I needed to use one finger by watching. An acoustic guitar magazine video of Anton DeFore playing his, I mean, teaching his tune, Spiritual Groove. So, just in case, if you want to get a glimpse of that, uh, you should go check that out. I mean, maybe maybe that might help you guys more than this video. So, I don't know. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, that's how you perform a slap harmonic. I uh, hope this guys helps you. Uh, hope hope this helps you guys. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, um, please leave them in the comment box below or send me um, an email and I'll do my best to help. Uh, thank you and I'll see you guys next time.